What up, what up? Wimboy here. It's it. I'm excited to give you this quick tip that I just recently figured out. Now, I was working on Unreal Engine and I had my logo with the Alpha channel embedded. And every time I brought it in, it wouldn't really show the Alpha channel. Like it just came in as a blob, but I think I figured out how to fix it. So I have my scene set up right here. I just have a cube against the, the you know, it's the blank canvas that we start off with. So I'm going to get started by coming to my desktop. I'm going to grab my logo which right now if i look at it look at my file info it's 2048 by 2048 which i found that unreal likes working on power of twos so anything that you have in this type of resolution whether it's this or 4k that's going to work best and so i made mine 2048 by 2048 i have an alpha channel in here as you can see and i'm just going to click and drag this into my content browser and then when i look at it you see that we have like a fuzzy blob messing here so I'm going to double click on this and when I double click on it, you see that I actually do have an alpha channel. Like if I click on view, I have my alpha channel toggled right here. And whenever I turn it off, this is what it looks like inside my content browser. But when I click on alpha channel, you see that we actually have it here. So let me minimize this a little bit so I can show you exactly what I did to fix this. And so what we're going to be doing is looking down here in the content browser. I want to look at this because if I come over here, to my compression settings and I start messing with these, they're correlating with each other. And so what I did was I just started messing with these until I found something that worked. So displacement map, I think is the one that worked for me. Yeah. Once I clicked on displacement map, it showed my alpha channel down there. So I come up and click save, exit this out. And then I can actually make a material here. So let me make a material real quick. And I'm just going to click and drag this in here. Then for my base color, I'm just going to do a constant vector three. Let's pick something like red, maybe for my color. And then under here, under my new material, over on blend mode, I'm going to make sure I'm on mask. So that it opens up my opacity mask here. So once I set up my base color, then I'm just going to set up my RGB into my opacity mask and we should be good to go. And so over here in my viewport, I'm going to make this into something flat. And then right here where I have my logo, RGB is going to go into the opacity mask. And once I did that, I was able to see my alpha channel. And if I click apply, then I close this out. Let me take my material, drag it on here. And now you can see I actually have my PNG on here. And this is on a cube that I just made flat. So that's why it looks like that. But yeah, it's working as it's supposed to. So that was the only way that I found to be able to bring my PNG in and have the alpha channel embedded. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know whenever I was Googling it, no one really had a good solution for this. It seems to be some type of issue that Unreal has with alpha embedded. I know people are saying like use a TGA file, which I did, and I still came across the same problem. So again, just double click on your material that you brought in here, come over to the compression settings, and displacement map seems to be the one that worked for me, but play around with these compression settings and hopefully you come up with a solution for your issue that you're having. I'm hoping this helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And as always, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Take care.